All right, we're back at Farmer Britain's Best Lawn 2016 to see the results of what we did a couple of weeks ago. So before we do that, let's just have a trip down memory lane and see what we did last time, just to rejig your memory. So if you remember, the first job we got on with was to remove some rogue annual meadow grass. You can see there the seeds on there and we don't want to distribute them all over with the scarifier. And then we moved on to clearing a few worm casts with the fork. These are real troublesome this time of year, especially with it being so wet. There's hundreds of them really early on this year, so I'm not looking forward to later on in the year. And then we got ye old faithful out and gave the lawn a scarify. We did two passes. This is just because it hadn't been done for quite a while, three months, and it was due a good bashing with the ye old faithful there. So you can see we did it both ways. Then we got our hair tomorrow out. And we used that as a hoover because I didn't have time to rake it up. And it's late in the season, so my body's tired. And I try to do anything I can to get away with doing any physical work at this time of year. And then after that, we went on with the Alex Sterling at 25 mil just to polish those tips up so they weren't left really white. Because what happens is when you take a lot off with the rotary mower, it leaves the tips really bruised and you get like a white hue. So we just go over with the cylinder, just reduce the height and get control of the height again. Then we went on with our equilibrium granular fertilizer and sprayed our liquid feeds. Let's join it back today. Right, so it's half nine. What I'm going to do is, it's a bit dewy, so I've literally just cut it with the rotary just to remove the dew and pick up any leaves. There's quite a few falling off the horse chestnut now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let it dry out a little bit and then I'll come back mid-dayish. I'm going to give it a double vertical, double cylinder cut and the sun, as the weather forecast says, is supposed to be really good. Sun shining, full sun, a bit cloudy at the minute. So not great for what I want to achieve today, but yeah, looking really good. Galactic on yesterday, so that's been on just under 24 hours now. I did that about dinner time yesterday, and it's really quite good. I mixed it in with the Orbit, and I just found that this has actually helped accentuate it even better. Sorted out the Orbit now in terms of all its fizzing and that, and we've come up with a really good formula. It gives us good results when we mix it with galactic. So I'm looking forward to later on, so I'll see you then. Okay, so we've just come back after lunch. As you recall, I came earlier just to mow it and get rid of the dew. It's dried out nicely, so next job is to get on with the Kensington today. Let's just take these off, I don't need these on. What happened was, basically I left the alley attachment outside that prototype, outside my house, and it got stolen. I've not told Austin yet, so if you're watching Austin, I'm sorry. So I've had to revert back to the Kensington, so it's hard work because it's no self-propelled mechanism in terms of leverage. I have to use the cable just by pulling it, so it messes your hand up and after you can imagine after a double vertical there, it's pretty sore. So what this is going to do, it's just going to clean out what we didn't get up last time or some of it, not all of it, and just get anything up that's there from last time, like leaves, etc. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so that's the double cut with the verticutter. We just have a look now at what we've got out. Even though we scarified two weeks ago, just got on with the verticutter, we just pulled all that out. Biggest question I get asked is, what's the difference between a scarifier and a verticut? Scarifier, well basically, scarifier enters the soil, so you get more thatch coming out, whereas the verticutter just rides along the top of the surface. You never really want to enter the soil with the vertical I mean you will do it at some points if you've got high spots but generally you're riding along the surface ever so gently and what you're doing is you're just removing side shoots off the lawn which is going to free up some space and get all the grasses pointing in the right direction like that 
So then when the muller comes on and cuts, everything's stood up right at the right height, so everything's going to get cut evenly. So when we get on here now with the sterling, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're just ready to go on with the Allet sterling. As the year goes on, your lawn naturally gets longer from the base. So no matter how hard you try and keep it scalped, it's still grown a bit. So you've got to take that into account when you're setting your height. So if you want to cut it 25 mil on this, we are just going to sink ever so much. So take that into account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off on 27 that way. And then if I need to reduce it, I can do that on the second pass. What I don't want to do is start off too low. As you know, we can't stick it back on. So let's start. Everything's working nicely. It's cutting well at the minute. Happy days. Okay, so it's looking really good. So that's the left to right done. Let's go down. Let's try and get these stripes even more defined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down a couple of mil, still quite long. So I think a couple of mil will be fine. So let's do it. Wish me luck. All right, so we're ready to show you the end results. I'm just showing you up close in the shade. Very nice that is. And then I lift up and we go into the sunlight. Oh, yes. He's done it again. What do we say? Come on, get ready. Oops, I did it again. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Remember people, two weeks pain for two months gain look at this oh yeah i think that's the best it's ever looked i really do i think year on year we're getting better and better and there's just no end to it i mean how good can we get it can we get it better than this I'm not sure you try but that's what keeps you going because if you just kind of say oh that's that's it have you got the motivation to carry on but you just always striving for better. Maybe get it looking like this for a lot longer. That'd be the thing, wouldn't it? That'd be great if it could look like, like this 24, seven, three, six, five, but we know it's not gonna do that because of the worms. If it wasn't for that, who knows? But yeah, look at that. Just shows you getting that groomer out, get all those grasses facing the right way. And then when they're cut, they're all cut at the same height, which gives you that definition. If they're all cut higgledy piggledy, you're not gonna get that same definition. So yeah, I'll try not to slip down this sleeper this year. Oh, it just keeps getting better. Oh, all right. Bob Ross would say, look at that rascal. That dirty rascal. Get in, come on, let's just keep it going. So what did we do? We've already seen what we've done last time we were here. Scarified, knocked it back, just keep cutting. We fed it product li equilibrium and the liquids, but then we didn't just stop. We come back, keep up with the routine of cutting, keep cutting. You don't want to lose control of it. The minute you leave it to admire it in six inches long, you've lost it. That's it, game over. You've got to keep coming, keep cutting, and then eventually it kicks in. Then, when you want that day like, like today where you want to do your filming or whatever party, or whatever couple of days before or the day before like yesterday get on with your galactic orbit from now on I would do as well and this is what you get well not what you get because you might not have the same seed or whatever but if you're following what I do you can have this it's not unachievable many in the group who have longed for a launch following what I do step by step product by product committing to it 
and they're all messaging me saying, Milan's never looked so good, thank you. You know, we're having the green jacket competition. I had a few entries already, brilliant. Couldn't, I couldn't distinguish between theirs or mine. That just shows you how easy it is to do. All you need is want, that's all you need. So the sun's gone in now, so best to wait for it to come out. I'll try and get some different angles for you. Sun's back out, so I thought I'd do some other angles. This one's my favorite, I think. This one gives you that real crispness of stripe, colour, everything. That just looks amazing for me. You know, it could be at Wembley. If I just went like that, it could be at, it could be at Wembley. It could be anywhere, couldn't it? That's how good it is. And you can have it. Can you remember over here? Did the levelling lawn video a few weeks ago. And you could just see where the levelling was taking place because the grass seed was a different colour just because it was like juvenile compared to everything else we'll spot where it would have been now you can't just a quick close up so you can see how short it is or isn't whatever you think i'm not in the camp that grass has to be short i think it's best left longer especially rye grass get a better stripe if it's fescue or whatever yeah cut it as short as you can but rye grass needs to be long so you get this lovely effect just another little tip for you. Whichever way you want your stripe to look the best, if you're double striping, make sure you do where you want to see your last. If you do it the other way around, when the sun comes out, your stripe is going to be like buried beneath it. So this way, we're going that way first because we want to see it this way. So we've got our pronounced stripe there. But if we did it the other way, that would be on top of that and it wouldn't stand out as good. So just another little tip for you. Okay, that's this video done and dusted. Hope you've enjoyed it. Season is quickly running out. We're at the midway of August now. Leaves are starting to fall, getting chilly nights, getting darker nights. So autumn is quickly drawing upon us. Now, what news have we got? Well, the Green Jacket competition, that closes entry-wise on 31st of August. So make sure you get yours in for more information on that. Keep posted in the Facebook group of mine, Daniel Hibbert, Lord Hibbert, Geek Haven, regularly posting stuff about that. I posted a post on Saturday, and that is about the rules of entry. So what have we done here? As you know, as you saw earlier, we scarified, did it quite harsh, to knock it back to get rid of all that old growth so that we'd make room for the new one. As you can see, it's worked an absolute treat. We went with some products, Equilibrium, and the entire liquid range, really, I think. If I remember correctly, then we came out yesterday, put our galactic on with a bit of orbit, and this is what we get. Converted cut today twice, and we've done a double cylinder cut with the sterling as well. So, happy days. If you like what you see, give us a like and a subscribe. Ask any questions you want, I'll try and answer as best I can, if they're not stupid. If you give me a stupid question, you know I'll give you a stupid answer. So, feast your eyes on that, and we'll see you next time. See you soon.